Hey everybody, it's your girl, Marissa Ann. Um, so today I have completed uh, day one of Gaze in Space. And I want to tell you that I had a whole bunch of fun today. Um, so uh, to recap, um, I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I had my photo op with... Uh, Shannon uh, Cochran, and I also had a photo op with Garrett Wong and Robert Duncan McNeil. Um, I also did two away missions today. Um, the first one I did was called Going All In with Garrett Wong, and in that one I learned how to play craps, and I learned about the different strategies about playing craps, and, um, you know, he he went into real detail on um, gambling and how when it comes to gambling, especially games like craps, it's not all 100% luck like a lot of people think. Some people are like, oh, you know, just it's just pure luck. There's a lot of strategy involved in it. There's math involved in it. And a lot of these um, strategies you just learn as you play the game. Um, so I really had a lot of fun uh, learning from him about the game. And I'm going to be honest with you, when I was listening to him um, describe the game to us and different strategies to use in order to uh, uh, get the uh, biggest payout and how to win your bets, um, I actually forgot that I was in a room with Gary Wong. Uh, I actually felt like I was in a room just like, just talking to uh, a regular person or a teacher, someone who's just there just to explain stuff to you. Um, and that's also the point, I, I believe, one of the points I believe with, with these away missions, we get to know uh, these uh, the actors. And when you get to know them and you do these away missions, which in my opinion are pretty much master classes, you, you literally just forget who they are. They're, they literally are just a normal person. Um, so again, I, I really did enjoy it. And now that I, I wish I took notes during the thing, but I didn't. But uh, the next, the next time I, I plan on going uh, to the casino, I'm going to take his strategies and apply them. Um, what else did I do? Um, I did the uh, Sing and Song Choice karaoke class with uh, Robert Picardo. Um, I had a whole bunch of fun doing that. And honestly, you guys, like, I was the first person to go and uh, do karaoke. And the song that I did was If This Is It by Huey Lewis and the News. And I, I was really nervous and I was shaking when I was up there singing that song, but man, did I have, but you know, after a while, I forgot, I forgot that, um, I forgot to be nervous and I just enjoyed myself. And, um, so it was fun, uh, doing, uh, the karaoke class with him. And he did give a lot of, uh, pointers and tips on how to do karaoke and how to use the equipment, um, and uh, especially when he said, he just made a joke about the mic because there was a little issue with the mic, like the mic uh, wouldn't stand up straight. So he just asked if we had, if anybody had Viagra for the mic because it keeps limping. But uh, other than that, it was a very fun um, away mission. And um, again, uh, if you ever get the chance to do an away mission such as karaoke with Robert Picardo, I suggest that you sign up for it. And if there is no class, if you know he's going to be doing karaoke, you should go. I mean, because I've seen him do karaoke and that was at Shore Leave. But uh, after that, I went to the awards gala. Well, actually, I came back, got dressed, and then I went to the awards gala and um, they passed out the awards uh, to all of the uh, the winners. Um, I sat down at the table. I ate, talked to some, met some new people and talked to them. And I just had a good old time. And as of right now, it's like 10, 15 
at night. I'm not sure if the awards, the, technically the awards gala ends at 10, but they're probably still partying. But y'all know me based on my video yesterday, like I'm tired. So I so I won't be going to the after party today. And I do apologize for that. But you guys, like when you're like me and you live with ADHD, um, you, you, you can only um, do so much before you get overwhelmed. And uh, and then you just, you know, you just uh, just phase yourself out of everything. So I did enjoy my enjoy the awards gala. All of the, all of the um, excuse me, the recipients deserved the award that they got and then more. Um, they have all done uh, lots of. Uh, just lots of things that have been allies um, for uh, people who are LGBTQIA plus, and you know, I am, and I congratulate them personally myself on a job well done. So um, tomorrow is going to be a fun day as well. Um, so what will be happening tomorrow is. Kate Mulgrew is going to be there tomorrow, and she'll only be there, I think, just tomorrow. So I have a Voyager photo op that I'll be going to, that, I, that I'll be taking. I have a, um, a photo op also with Kate Mulgrew, um, and then I'll also, uh, after that, I'll be going to a um, an away mission with um, Stephanie Tchaikovsky. Uh, it's called Starfleet Fusion, and it's just been, and it's, from what I understand, it's an uh, instructional uh, exercise class. And then after that, um, I'll be visiting the tables of uh, the other actors, specifically. Um, I want to make sure I get a picture with Penny Johnson Gerald, just because I'm wearing my cosplay tomorrow. And if you saw the cosplay that I wore last year to Shore Leave, that's the one I'm wearing again this year. Um... I'm also going to be going to um, the concert. There are two concerts taking place tomorrow at um, City Winery in Philadelphia. The first one is with Tim Russ, and I'll be attending that one. And then the second one is the Ron and Barry's concert. And, uh, and then maybe, <laughs> depending on how I'm feeling, because all of those concerts are not going to end until around 11. And Tim Russ's is from like 5.30 to 7. And then the Roddenberry's concert is from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. So um, depending on how I feel, I was going to decide if I'm, going, if I'm going to that after party or not. But um, so those of you, if you haven't gotten your tickets for, those, for both of those concerts, I suggest you go and get them. Because I've never, I've never seen Tim Russ perform. I've never seen the Roddenberries perform. But from but based on uh, what other people have said and reviewed, um, see there I go. I'm yawning already because I'm tired. Um those concerts, they those people those people have seen them uh perform and said it's a very fun uh those concerts will be very fun and out of this world and so I cannot wait until I am able to uh, see those guys in concert. Um, also, what I did today, and I forgot to tell you, was that um, I passed out the first 50 um, packets of buttons that I made. And so I just got to pass out another 50 and I'm, and I'm done. And for those of you who want to know, no, Robert Picardo has not gotten one yet. He will get one tomorrow when I visit his table. So, um, and not only will I give him a button then, but I also show him that tattoo. And I'm sure he's probably seen it because someone on social media told me that they showed it to him, but I'll find out tomorrow. But uh, anyway, you guys, I'm really tired and I gotta go to bed because I gotta be up early in the morning so that I can go to uh, gaze in, to, you know, gaze in space and, uh, like I said, I'm going to have so much fun tomorrow, and I will review as well uh, what my day was like there. So be good to yourselves. Be good to those uh, you love and care about. 
and I will see you all in the next one. Good night.